This is a monster's lair. And the creature that lives here makes Hannibal Lecter look like a kindergarten teacher. The Ant Lion. Ant lions are sadistic, torturous predators. There are over 2,000 species found all over the world. Despite their name, ant lions will eat anything that happens to fall into their craters of cruelty. But they do have a particular thing for ants. Lions are born with twisted, insatiable appetites. And their first instinct is to build their pits of doom so they can begin their lives of tormented feeding. With their head and jaws barely visible, they lie in wait for their unsuspecting victims. Ant lions can't see like humans, but evolution has provided them with eye like structures called photosensors. And they're so sensitive, they can detect the slightest change in light or the tiniest movement. Like those of this ant, who's unwittingly stumbled into the perilous pit. The creature that lies beneath is ready and waiting. Booby traps of sand blasts and uneven soil ensure that once the ant is in here, it's never getting out. The instant it's within reach, the ant lion grabs it with its pinchers or mandibles, and they're lightning quick. Within about 18 milliseconds, the ant lion is able to inject powerful, paralyzing venom, which is now coursing through the ant's body. Even with prey much larger than itself, the ant lion never loses its grip. It's anchored firmly beneath the soil, which is where this ant will be dragged to have its life juices sucked out while still alive and paralyzed. Now, to get rid of the body, the ant lion is a serial killer with high housekeeping standards. As soon as the lifeless husk of the victim is tossed out, repair work on the lair begins. So it's ready for the next time the story gets even more disturbing. Ant lions are larvae. They're baby monsters. Larvae that doesn't poop for up to three years. They don't have an anus, so the juice of all their prey is stored in their body. Some of this juice will be used to spin a cocoon from this orifice. Eventually, when the individual's reign of terror ends and it's time to graduate, from horror high. And here's another freaky fact. From out of the cocoon emerges not a monster at all, but a beautiful flying insect called a lace wing. Ironically, lace wings will not live nearly as long as their appalling younger selves. Although they too haven't quite given up their appetite for ants. After a few days, the lace wings will mate, the females will lay their eggs and die. And when those eggs hatch, a whole new generation of ant lion micro freaks will be ready to start the cycle of horror all over again. Next time on Micro Freaks, a creature that can only live once something else has died.